All right. So here we go. We are beginning on Smashville. What do you know? So here we are, Ganon versus Pit, uh, game one on Smashville. So I think what Ganon is really looking to do is uh, throw Pit into a knockdown situation, as he does with every other character. Um, I mean, Lucky trying to wall him out. I mean, that's it's expected. I don't see anything completely different. Oh, nice, uh, nice wizard's foot over there trying to get in. But GLA doing some unsafe landings. Like, let's see. All right, so. DLA is taking kind of a beating right now, but for Ganon, percentage doesn't really matter, as most of you know. Um, so, DLA staying fairly grounded. For some reason, using a lot of Wizard's Foot. I don't really see the point of it, seeing he's getting punished a lot for it, but uh, here we go. So, yeah, DLA is sort of stage control now. I don't think this is a really bad position for Pit because Ganon doesn't really have that many options to cover the ledge. But DLA is reacting really well, and I think you know he's trained himself to deal with the situation because Ganon is really limited in that aspect. So here we are. Ooh, nicely timed glide attack. Um. Okay, it's nice back air from Lucky, throwing him off the stage. Now that is the kind of arrow harassment I really was thinking and expecting from this matchup. I mean. There's not really much else like you you should see Pit doing. I mean, if he tries again to trades with Ganon, he's not really gonna win. Not that Pit really has that many trading situations, anyways. Um. Wow, Gla just throwing out that brave up smash like he's in there. So lucky throwing out getting a little greedy with that forward smash, and here we go resetting the situation, shooting more arrows. That's the kind of play we should be seeing. With DLA at 186, I'm not surprised. Lucky is really in to camp this match. He's not really trying to be the aggressor, but DLA, you know, he's getting the hits here and there, and I think once DLA asserts momentum, he might do, you know, he might, we might see some astonishing results here, but uh, here we go. Unsafe recovery as usual. So, once again, I really don't think Lucky has very much experience, but he seems to be doing pretty well here. I mean, I mean, you might be a top 5 Ganon, but, uh, oh, there we go with the kill, but, I mean, you might be a top 5 Ganon, but Ganon is still Ganon, you know? So, DLA in a pretty bad situation. Nice read. So, now Lucky again, a little bit greedy, and DLA is just kind of, you know, waiting to punish him. I mean, wow, nice forward smash, and DLA needs to really stop getting greedy with that wizard switch. I mean, he hasn't hit with this, I mean, he hasn't really hit with it in a situation that's, like, highly beneficial. So now, we're looking at, wow, that's the... I don't know if that was a read or if that was a reaction or if DLA just rolled into it, but uh... So... Again, DLA trying to aggressively assert himself on the ledge, but... That's not really working out for him. Maybe we should see a little more passive strategy. But I mean... Lucky is really kind of camping him out. There's nothing he can really do against this kind of tactic. So... DLA trying for that forward smash to trade with the forward air. I, that's an interesting kind of thing, like power shielding and just buffering the forward smash. I've never really thought of that. That's a smart idea, but uh, it's not really working out because Pit's frame data is, of course, better than Ganon's. <laughs> so. Now we're looking at DLA slowly trying to gain his lead back, but, you know, ultimately, Lucky's really doing a good job keeping it out. I think. You know, DLA really needs to change strategy if he wants to make anything happen, I mean. So, here we are. That's a nice bait. But DLA, you know, being patient, not shielding or jumping preemptively. And you know, when DLA gets in with the wizard's foot, it's kind of scary because he's already, he's already prepared to react. But I think Lucky, you know, like, intuitively understands maybe a little bit of Ganon's moveset. Or maybe he's just simply reacting because... Once again, Ganon is a bad character. Oh, and DLA misses a Gimp opportunity there, but, uh... Again, Ganon with just... His frame data is just so... So par. DLA slowly making his advances. Getting shot by tons of arrows. But as we saw on the last dog, it doesn't seem like as though... Any... I mean, DLA lived until, what, 205% and made the first kill. So this isn't anything new for DLA. And just like that, four and a half minutes have passed on the clock. I mean, Lucky doesn't really seem to be really timing him out at all. And I don't blame him as, why would you need to time? I mean, timing out Ganon is just... <laughs> so, wow, Lucky really working his ledge game here. DLA struggling to power shield and... 
really staying patient. Nice patience by Lucky. Being able to recover to that platform is a huge vantage point because he can shoot arrows from above, and Ganon doesn't really have any strong counters other than tricking Pit, but if the Pit refuses to be tricked, then that's another story entirely. That's funny arrow loop. Admiral Pit status. So, nice up air by DLA. Really punishing Lucky for trying to get to the ground too quick. And Lucky now has, I mean, he doesn't have his work cut out for him, but there we go. So now we're back to even. So now we're looking at DLA at a 15% deficit, but nothing too bad. So, I don't know what he is going for there, but that was a nice spot dodge by DLA, and now Lucky is, has his back to the edge, and it seems that as though DLA is not having a hard time getting Lucky in bad persistence per se, but just having trouble capitalizing on them. So, that was a nice shield, and now DLA takes the lead a significant lead for the first time in the whole match. And so now DLA really working his patience here. Lucky's getting a little greedy, but hopefully he can make the adjustment and notice that he's being a little too impatient. Oh, wow, that hard read! And DLA takes the first game. Unbelievable. So, I think DLA, what, what, he wanted, what he'll want to do is probably ban, I think, Lilac Cruz because... Gen is already bad on there, and Pit is actually a pretty phenomenal character on there, and Halibur doesn't actually offer any sort of peripheral advantage to, um, to Pit in this matchup. And we go to FD, which isn't all too unsurprising. I mean, Ganon really relies on some aerial pressure to really hit Pit, and... So, game two, and, you know, DLA making us... Oh, that's not DLA. He, that's not uh, DLA's Ganon anymore. So, Lucky for Life uh, has the secondary, and that is Pikachu, as you guys can all see. And it's a nice read by DLA. Now, DLA's swap goes actually kind of solid. Um, I'm not sure about Lucky's Pikachu at all, because he's been playing a lot of Pit. I mean, if I was to believe his post Pit, that is. So, Lucky, I don't really know what he's trying for. He's just really going straight for the grab, and DLA is countering this kind of linear strategy. I mean, yes, one grab will end it all, but Falco can do a lot of damage in that time and really make it difficult. And so now Lucky gets a grab, and it's probably going to be evened up unless he messes up. That's an, and that's chain grab. He completes it very well. Nice patience on the landing, and now we're looking at... Nice read by DLA, and he takes the lead. Now, I used to main Falco, and... What's really kind of difficult in this matchup is for Pikachu to take back the lead if Falco is really camping him hard because Falco has the tools to keep Pikachu out. It's just the grab is kind of like a threat from all percentages at a low percent. But now that Falco is at high percent, he doesn't really have to fear Pikachu so much. And he can just abuse his jab and, you know, like really work his, like, strengths. And so, as you can see here, like, Lucky's patience is really falling apart and DLA is just getting some simple, pun easy punishes, you know, like... Stuff that's really fairly elementary. Lucky just hoping for a trip on the jabs and notice how DLA is really staying in the middle of the stage, making sure that he's not really being pushed to the corners because he knows that that'll be where he gets killed by Lucky. And wow, at side B, you know, like you gotta react to that. You really gotta be prepared. Nice grab. He's gonna probably charge forward smash. No. Nice read again, and you know, Lucky's just, his inexperience is really showing through. I think DLA was really prepared for this kind of matchup, and he knew that picking Falco as a counter pick would lead to Pikachu, eventually. That was a nice down smash, and Lucky's just really falling apart, you know, like, it's not impossible for him to make an adjustment at this rate, and it's not impossible for him to bring it back, it's just that it's... <laughs> looks like DLA's doing a dominating performance here, and nice... DLA just throwing out downers and the reversal lasers, real flashy there. And nice patience by DLA, really trying to keep him out. Good dash stack there, punishing the spot dodge. And we're looking at DLA once again in a good position. Great, that was a nice forward smash, and DLA dies to an up tilt. Now Lucky has a chance to bring this. If he can just get the stock and make a few reads after the chain grab. Oh, that's a, and that's a chain grab. He opens him up. He opens him up, and here's a down throw again. Chain grab. Da dunk. Da dunk. Da dunk. 
Da dunk, 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 up smash. So. Personally, I think Lucky should try to stay a little bit closer to the ground so that way he can pressure DLA's landing a little more T jolts, but, you know, I'm not the Pikachu player here. That was a nice read, and now Lucky has a great chance to bring this back. All he needs is one grab. And DLA doing something extremely unsafe, but reading the fact that Lucky wants to grab him so badly. And now DLA, all he needs to do is just camp. Run away. Just run that's right, run away. And of course he gets opened up again, and now Lucky's in the is in the running. Down throw. Hey. Hey. Lucky. Repositioning himself, making sure he's good for the down throw and he doesn't off smash. Oh! Unexpectedly. And now DLA in a really bad position here. Oh wow, great great read and DLA's patience is just shattered. And that's ladies and gentlemen is uh, Pikachu versus Falco on FD. So now DLA um, has a multitude of characters to consider for game three and also a multitude of counter picks, especially in the Unity rule set. What I'm, what I personally think Lucky will do, or DLA will do, is he'll try to try to keep Lucky on Pikachu. Try to keep Lucky on Pikachu and really just, I don't know. So now, DLA going DK. Brave move. Oh, and he goes to Yoshi's Island. So, uh, game three, um, last game of the set, of course. And this is for, I mean, I seeded DLA. In this pool, DLA is seeded as the one seed, or, yeah, he's seeded, I believe he's either seeded as the one seed or the two seed, and Lucky is a three seed. And so, you know, Lucky really. I don't know what kind of DK experience he has, maybe Junebug, but other than that, um, DLA's uh, DK looking kind of strong here, I mean, he's not doing too badly, I mean, of course he's, you know, he's using, he's using this stage to his greatest potential, DLA is really making good usage of this counter pick, and, uh, so, and DLA, Nice punish there. Really forcing Pikachu to be above him where he can uh, work DK's strengths. Strong up air. And DLA really fishing for those um, down smashes. I really, I really don't know what he's going for there. DLA forgetting the fact that he runs out of invincibility. Step it up. DK's out of shield is total butt. And now we go back to uh, Lucky having an advantage. And, you know, DLA is just... I don't know about this. He, he, I think he might have wanted to go back to Ganon. I don't know about his DK being entirely competent, given that he just abuses the counter pick. I mean, that's how DLA is when it comes to a lot of this kind of stuff. So, DLA just really trying to rush in and force himself on the opponent, but that's not the kind of character DK is. Like, just, and DLA just saying, oh my gosh, in frustration. I mean, at this point, that was. He just threw it out there because he could, and now DLA might is a little closer to being back, back in the game, but still not all the way. And just nice down tilt, nice patience there. I don't know, he's going for the shield break maybe, but now I don't see DLA really getting a chance to charge his punch. I don't know if it's because Luck is really pressuring him or if DLA is just not looking for those kinds of opportunities. And That's right, so... So now DLA, yeah, returning to him, much more patient kind of style, but he still has a lot of ground to make up, and notice how Lucky is really just keeping him pressured and keeping him in bad spots, but now commentator's curse as the position is reversed. And Lucky's just running away, making sure that he's not in a bad, but ooh, that disrespectful forward air! But, uh, looks like we're still in the running here, and DLA is just slowly working his way back, but now he has a lot of ground to cover as he is one stock 73% down. Going for that, 
strong read, like DLA just throwing moves out there because he really th he really needs to come back. And there's no doubt in my mind that DLA is the patient enough player. Wow, nice up smash there, but DLA is v a very patient player normally, but his DK is just not looking up to snuff. Like really just not playing the way the DK should be. And wow, that's a nice up air. So now DLA has a little bit of ground to cover before he comes back. And what will he do next? So. DLA really just slowing himself down a little, taking the time to uh, counter and poke at Lucky's approaches, and that was some nice SDI by Lucky. And he's really just taking the time to poke and poke at Lucky and just push him towards. Oh my God! Wow. But uh, you know, Lucky uh, having some nice reaction time there and uh, meteor canceling, and now um, ooh, and that's it. That's a got him.